Hey folks, welcome back to Pokemon Y, and welcome back to Elite Week, where we're taking on the Kalos Elite Four and Champion. Um, last episode, we took care of Malva, a Fire-type Elite Four member, um, and I don't know who we're going to fight today. I'm just going to run into this room and see who we get. Ironworks, that tells me Steel-type. Um, and Steel-type tells me that I might want to lead with uh, Robin or Petra. Let's go with Robin, just because Petra is a higher level. Robin got a lot of action last episode, but uh, I don't know. She's cool, so deal with it. Whew. Those are large swords. Those are impractically large swords. Do you really need swords that large? I don't know what your name is. Dude's got armor. Wickstrom. All right, match number two versus Wickstrom. And indeed, yes, Steel leading off at the Clef Key. There's a certain incongruity that I find funny um, with a, a knight, a literal knight in shining armor, throwing out a set of keys. <laughs> There's just the temporal incongruity is quite humorous. Anyway, Klefki, Steel, and Fairy. Oh! Oh, you would do this to me? This. Today of all days. Okay. I'll use Agility. Uh, I would use Sword Stance, but Acrobatics isn't going to do much of anything to any of these Pokémon, because they're all Steel types. Um... So I may as well increase speed, make sure I outspeed whatever he sends in next. Although it is annoying that I won't be able to use Flamethrower every turn. So that means uh, some of his other Pokémon will be able to get um, damage in on me on those off turns. No, I don't need Steel Wing. No. So that is oddly fitting, considering we're fighting Wickstrom right now. Ooh, there's a Probo Pass. Probo Pass is Rock Steel, I believe. The torment didn't go away because Fluffy fainted, did it? Ah. Um. Well, I'll get a little acrobatics in. Might have Sturdy, so this could break the Sturdy. Ooh, that was strong. Quadruple effective, I know. Um, so, Rock Steel. That'll be quadruple week two fighting. So, let's throw in a hammer arm. It's also quadruple week to Earthquake. Um, actually, I've already used a hammer arm, and Earthquake has better accuracy. And since it's quadruple effective, I won't worry about the, the slightly lower damage. By slightly, I mean probably significantly. There's Aegislash. Aegislash is a ghost steel type. It's a kind of a fan favorite. People like it a lot. It's the final evolution of... Uh... Final evolution of that, uh, that ghost sword that I had trouble deciding the pronunciation of. So Aegislash's gimmick is that it can change form from a defensive form to an offensive form, and I believe its base stats change along with it. Um, and it changes depending on what uh, what move it uses. It can use either offensive or defensive moves. Alright, that's taken care of, and that was his 65, so... Oh good, Petra's now on par with most of these 
uh, these guys' teams. Oh, there's Scissor, and uh, unfortunately Robin's already fainted. So... Do I have a... I don't really have a better option. I can use Brute Force. Ooh. Yeah, I think I might have to bring someone else to Brute Force this. Which actually makes the battle a little bit more interesting. Um... You go bug on bug with Vivi, but Vivi doesn't have much to get through the steel type. Um, Ava has a rock slide, which would be neutral. And she resists the, uh, the physical moves that uh, the scissor is probably going to be using. So, even though Iron Head is super effective, yeah, I'm feeling alright. Mm, I can't tell if that's going to faint on the next turn. Come on. Oh. Oh, and he still probably has a bunch of full restores, doesn't he? Um, God, this might be an opportunity to use a revive mid-battle. I think I'm gonna do that. I feel like a lamo using a revive mid battle, but uh, it would be—it's either this or a whole bunch of hyper potions. Because Scissor can't KO um, Ava very easily, but Ava can't KO Scissor very easily either. So it would just be a matter of me using uh, using Hyper Potion after Hyper Potion. Oh! Ava, thank you for sticking it out. Um, I'm sorry that attack didn't work. I mean, hypothetically, I could have used uh, Curse a couple times just to totally build up a defense and do more damage with the Rock Slides. It would have worked. Um, but it also would have been tedious. And there's also just the satisfaction of frickin' roasting a scissor. It feels so good. And that is Wickstrom. Wasn't too bad. I do feel like, uh, Robin and Petra are kind of hogging the spotlight a bit. And that wraps up the second battle of Elite Week. Next episode, I don't know who we're going to fight, but I hope you'll tune in and find out. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time for the next installment of Elite Week.